This segment is sponsored by the Potawatomi Zoo. It's a wild Wednesday and Josh from the Potawatomi Zoo is joining us with a very special furry friend. Josh, thanks so much for being with us. Yes, of course, yeah. You brought a special one because you've said before, you often will bring animals and, and give us the caveat. This is not a pet. It, so yes, and but. I, but this is so that's and that's why when I first thought about bringing a guinea pig, I was like, I can't bring a guinea pig. That we're the zoo, like you can go to Petco and see guinea pigs. But sure. these guys have a definite important message because you're right. Every time I bring these animals on, I keep talking about these do not make good pets. These do not get good pets. If you are looking for a pet, though, this is a good pet. Really? Um, this is I'm what you want to. Sure. And there's a lot, so many of them that need adoptions. There's a really? ton of adoption agencies in town that have tons of guinea pigs that need homes because I think what happens is parents get them for their kids. The kids mm. aren't taking care of them. They have no home, so yeah. But so look how cute. He's so they are very cute. cute. What do they kind of remind you of? Okay, though, when you think about. I, I said I go. Are they closely related to the capybara? Because I will walk past. They're with the anteaters. Is that correct? In yep, the same yep, habitat. Yep, yep, yep. And I know this from my zoo knowledge. It's the world's largest rodent. Is it that is, correct? It is the largest rodent. And actually, so these guys evolved from capybaras. So these are actually they more look of a, very similar. Yes, yeah, so you don't really see guinea pigs running around in the wild. So these are actually more of a domesticated version it's of a capybara that's capybara. been breathed out. Exactly. Exactly, basically. <laughs> yeah. I love that. But if you know, if you have walked past where the anteaters are and you basically see an oversized guinea pig, that's, that's what it is. It really I is. hear people all the time go, what is a capybara? And I'm going, it's the, it's a rodent. It's just it's, quite large. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess you would technically say a guinea pig is a capybara because they came from capybaras. Versus we can a capybara. just call you that. Are you okay with that little <laughs> guinea pig? Would you like a complete change of name? You're doing such a great job here on Hometown yes, Living. Yes. Josh, you are so busy over at oh the Potawatomi Zoo. So what's coming up? I mean, you got the lions. The yes, pride is here. The pride is here. They came in last Friday. They arrived about 4.30 in the morning. Wow. So me and the team, we met there and we got them into their new habitat. And so probably have to be a little patient because we're still finishing up the exhibit, but they're in quarantine right now. So they're inside right. the building, but they're doing great. They're getting tons of enrichment. Public can go up to the windows and see them. We uh, we were going to hold off from public seeing them just to give them some time. They love people. They are really? up in the windows. They're probably quite curious. Yeah, they're beautiful. They are. You did they, post some photos on your social media. Gorgeous. They act like they've lived here for a year. It's oh, it's just, they, they're just adjusted so well. Um, we're finishing up the habitat by June 1st. They should be out on exhibit. So Warm, we're really excited. Welcome. Look at the, we're getting a picture of the lines yeah, right yeah, now there yeah, on your yeah. social media. But coming up, you have a couple events. This weekend is Mother's Day. This weekend is Mother's Day. Uh, mothers get in free. Um, I think that was, what a great way. that was the brainchild of uh, our of, Miss Jackie. Of one mother <laughs> from hometown living that happens to love the zoo. I said, Josh, what are you doing to celebrate moms? And you go, well, we'll think of something. And we thought about that together. We so moms, yes, you're getting yes, in yes. free thanks to us. I do whatever you say. Um. <laughs> we love that. We no, love it's a, that it's idea. A great, it's a great push for Mother's Day. Yeah. But really important in two weeks is our big eat and drink event. So we have big two two big events during the wow. year. Yeah. Our zoo brew. This is eat and drink. So it's local restaurants, samplings. Um, it's a little higher dollar ticket because there's a lot of different restaurants there. So oh, you get all yeah, the samplings. You're getting a lot for your and ticket drinks. Price. There's VIP tickets still available. But if you go online, those are selling. People are kind of wait for the weather to look what it, and now we're t we can see because the tickets are selling really quick right now. So and we, this is a grown up event. This right? is 21 and over only. Um, so we have to do that for the liquor license. Yeah. Um, but it's a great opportunity to get a new group of people to the zoo that maybe haven't come to the zoo because they don't have kids, be able to, you know, you're, we're going to be doing uh, things up at the draft deck. We're going to be all kinds of activities happening. So it, it'll be a great evening for people. We we love that. So many events. And I asked you specifically to bring something. I have it behind my chair. Yes, yes. You so I'm going to pull, pull it up. up. So this is the adopt an animal from the Potawatomi Zoo. I saw this on the website and I'm going, this is a great gift idea. It is. What is the adopt an animal? So in, it, like you talked about for just even a birthday or someone, yeah. there's a there's a folder in there with a picture of the animal you can adopt. There's certain animals at the zoo. You go online, there's different categories depending on what it is. You can actually have a meet and greet with an animal at the zoo. If you're the highest level, we actually have a day where you get to come and it's just for you guys. Um, the guardian, I believe it is. Yeah. You get to do another um, animal encounter, but it's just a way to kind of um, adopt an animal at the zoo, you're helping care for them. We've talked about it, mm -hmm. it costs $10,000 a year to feed one tiger. Yeah. Um, that's how much meat. So when you do these adopts, you're helping with uh, helping care for these animals. So it's just a nice, special, tangible gift that you can give to someone. It's a great and gift idea animal. Yeah. For, for kids, because if you're thinking for a, a birthday or just a special surprise throughout the summer months, yep, yep. give them a gift of the membership and then something to hold in their hands. Absolutely. And then know when they come to the zoo, oh, I'm a part of helping feed yep. that animal. I mean, what great ownership for Absolutely. kids coming to the zoo. Absolutely. Yeah. And you kind of, it feels like you're a little more part of the zoo. 
zoo, you know, because it's that's your animal that you've adopted. So we yeah, love yeah. that. Be a part of the zoo. This is a great way to be a part of the zoo. But of course, become a member. Come out to some of their special events. Mother's getting free this Mother's Day, but also the big eat and drink event for 21 and over. You're not going to want to miss that. It's a great event um, at the zoo happening this month. 574-235-9800. Check out PotawatomiZoo.org or easy enough, check them out on Facebook.